Good morning, everyone. I'd like to call this meeting to order, commissioner's meeting. And uh, everyone, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, reading approval of a reading of the minutes of the last meeting. Um, make a motion to approve. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Opportunity for the public to address the board agenda items only. Okay, no one. Thank you. Resolution 22022, uh, uh, approving current payables. Correct. Eight, resolve the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the following payables. Lackawanna County General Fund numbers 345324-346521 inclusive totaling $4,974,162.68. Electronic tr fund transfers including all payroll accounts totaling 13 million. $715,223.52 adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022, Mr. Chairman. Okay, anyone have any questions on the current payables? <coughs> Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Resolution 220207. Approving the filing of a grant application to support the election security project, whereas Lackawanna County is committed to administering fair and equitable elections within Lackawanna County, and whereas Lackawanna County is submitting a grant application to the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development Governors Center for Local Government Services through the election security grant program to be used specifically for expenses incurred in both the primary and general elections. And whereas Lackawanna County hereby authorizes the chairman of the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners to sign and authorize all documents and accept any awards related to this election security grant project. And now therefore be it resolved this 31st day of August 2022 that the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners does hereby approve and ratify the submission of this application to the election security grant program. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak about that is our Director of Elections, Ms. Elizabeth Hopkins. Thank you, Brian. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Act 88 was passed to establish the Election Int Integrity Grant Program, and the grant is being administered by the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development. Uh, as Brian said, the grant is to be used for the county for the administration of elections. One main component of the grant is to assist with the funding to ensure that the pre-canvassing and canvassing of mail-in and absentee ballots is completed and reported on Election Day. The allocation for Lackawanna County is $744,853. Uh, these funds will certainly assist the election office with the cost to execute the election in a timely and efficient manner. I think it should be noted this is specifically for this upcoming general election and the next and the next election. election. Right, two elections. Okay. Anybody have any questions for uh, Elizabeth? Okay, I'm going to entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. A question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Resolution 220208. Authorizing the filing of the local share account grant applications, whereas Lackawanna County is interested in promoting economic development and revitalization within Lackawanna County, and whereas Lackawanna County is submitting grant applications to the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development through the Monroe County Local Share Grant Program on behalf of the various agencies as detailed. Number one the Abington Area Joint Recreational Board, $74,550 for replacement of the safety surfacing of the Boundless Playground. Number two, the Dunmore Missy League, $133,516.95 for field lighting. Number three, the East Grant Little League, $240,000 for lights, cameras, and automated sports broadcasting system. Number four, the Friendship House, $249,035 for a building renovation project. Number five, the Scranton Veterans Memorial Stadium Fund, $27,857 for the arch sign for Memorial Stadium. Number six, the VFW Jessup Post, 5544, $66,511 for construction of multiple projects, windows, doors, flooring, boiler replacement, sidewalks, and back blacktop filling. Number seven, the Waverly Community House, $110,000 for an HVAC replacement project. 
Number eight, the West Grant Alumni Wrestling Association, $198,000 for the multi-purpose training facility improvements. Whereas Lackawanna County hereby authorizes the chair of the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners to sign and authorize all documents and accept any awards related to these Monroe County local share accounts grants and now therefore be it resolved on this 31st day of August that the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners does hereby authorize the submission of these applications to the Monroe County local share account grant program on behalf of the above named entities and their respective projects. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st. 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak about that is our Director of Economic Development, Ms. Brenda Sacco. Good morning, Commissioners and everyone. This resolution is authorizing the submission of the Monroe County Local Share Account Grant Program application to the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development on behalf of eight agencies totaling over $1.1 million. The LSA grant program continues to provide support and enhance community and economic well-being for communities and important projects across Lackawanna County. Okay. Any questions? These are not our grants at all. They're, they come from our rural counties from the, the gambling. Correct. 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 Okay. Anybody and have any questions? we administer on their behalf if they are awarded. Anyone have any questions for Brenda? Nope. Oh. In a motion to approve? Motion. Second. A question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> and resolution 220209. Awarding the ARPA construction contracts for the elevator modernization project be it resolved. The Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna does hereby award the following American Rescue Plan Act construction contract for the Lackawanna County Government Center eleva Elevator Modernization Project, General Construction Otis Elevator Company. 7355 William Avenue, Allentown, Pennsylvania, 18106, with a total bid of $678,455. Number two, the electrical, urban electrical contractors, 801 William Street, Delmore, PA, 18510, with a total bid of $49,900. Adopted the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, once again, here is Director Sacco. Uh, as a result of a fair and equitable bidding process, this resolution states that the county is entering into a general construction agreement with Otis Elevator Company and an electrical service agreement with urban electrical contractors for the Lackawanna County Government Center Elevator Modernization Project. These services, totaling $728,355, will be paid for with American Rescue Plan Act funds to assist in re responding to the ongoing repercussions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The reconstructed elevators are necessary to maintain sufficient traffic flow throughout the building to allow for social distancing and to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. The new elevators will also have a UVC germicidal filtration unit to support the public health response. Any Wonderful. questions? And it's the elevators right there. Great. <laughs> <laughs> One's not working. <clears throat> Anyone have any questions for Ms. Sacco? Nope. Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Resolution 220210. Ratifying an application for Lehigh the Leahy Bulletproof Vest Partnership. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby ratify and approve an application for the Patrick Leahy Bulletproof Vest Partnership funding on behalf of the District Attorney's Office. Whereas, if awarded, the Patrick Leahy Bulletproof Vest Partnership funding will cover the reimbursement of up to 50% of the total cost of 38 Bulletproof Vests that are needed for the Lackawanna County District Attorney's Office Detective Division and the Lackawanna County Prison with a maximum allowable funding amount of $20,660.75. Whereas, Lackawanna County is hereby authorized the Lackawanna County District Attorney Mark Powell Esquire to accept, sign, and authorize all documents related to this grant award and the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the submission of the Patrick Leahy Bulletproof Vest Partnership application in the maximum allowable funding amount of $20,660.75 and now therefore be it resolved by the authority of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the submission of this application and it's hereby resolved by the authority of the same at the District Attorney of said municipality authority Authority be authorized and directed to accept the, to sign the acceptance of this award. Adopted the regular meeting, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is the District Attorney, Mr. Mark Powell. 
Good morning, commissioners. This is a, simply a grant application. It is a highly competitive grant that we have sought before unsuccessfully, but are seeking again. It will defray the costs of bulletproof vests for both our Lackawanna County detectives and uh, Lackawanna County prison um, personnel. Uh, if awarded, uh, certainly from the district attorney's office, we would fund uh, the remaining 50% uh, from um, uh, funds separate and apart from the county, uh, primarily our um, uh, funds through forfeiture. Okay, thank you. Anyone have any questions for Mr. Powell? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. A question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. 220211. Accepting the Borough of Justice Assistance Award. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby accept an award on behalf of the District Attorney's Office for the Borough of Justice Assistance Fiscal Year 2022 Bernie Discretionary Community Project Funding and Bernie Discretionary Grants Program. Whereas, the overall goal of the BJAF fiscal year of 2022 Bernie Discretionary Community Project Funding and Grants Program is the creation of the Lackawanna County Gang and Gun Reduction and Intelligence Project in order to serve the diverse population of Lackawanna County through aggressive intelligence collection, investigation, and prosecution efforts, efforts targeted specifically toward gun, gang, and drug-related crime. And whereas Lackawanna County does hereby authorize the Lackawanna County District Attorney Mark Powell Esquire to accept, sign, and authorize all documents related to this grant award, and the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does, accept, does hereby approve the acceptance of the BJA Fiscal Year 2022 Bernie Discretionary Community Project Funding Bernie Discretionary Grants Program in the amount of $2 million. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the authority of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County to, to hereby approve the acceptance of this award and it is hereby resolved the authority of the same that the district attorney of said municipality authority be authorized and directed to sign the, accept, to sign the acceptance of this award adopted at the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022. Mr. Chairman, once again, here is District Attorney Powell. Thank you. This is a grant we were successful on. It's a significant grant, probably the largest grant in the history of the Lackawanna County District Attorney's Office. It's $2 million uh, designed to aggressively address gun and gang violence in Lackawanna County. Uh, the funds are approved. We need to implement those. Um, they're available in October. There is a long process for hiring additional detectives and staff which we're anxious to do, um, and this is the first step in that progress. We'll be back before you, before our salary board, to obtain approval from the positions, but they will be grant-funded personnel positions, and I would therefore ask for your approval in order that we can get started. Okay, great. All right, anyone have any questions for Mr. Powell? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question, all in favor? Aye. Aye, Aye. thanks. 220212. Ratifying a grant application to the United States Department of Justice, be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby ratify and approve the submission, submission of a grant application to the United States Department of Justice, Borough of Justice Assistance, on behalf of the District Attorney's Office for Fiscal Year 2022 Comprehensive Opioid Stimulant and Substance Abuse Site-Based Program, whereas the overall goal of Lackawanna County Comprehensive Opioid Stimulant and Substance Abuse Site Program grant application is to support additional data collection and analysis, identified, identified fatal overdose case reviews, program evaluation, and recommendation implementation associated with the Lackawanna County Overdose Fatality Review Team, all with the overarching goal of reducing fatal overdoses, overdose deaths throughout Lackawanna County, whereas Lackawanna County is hereby authorized Lackawanna County District Attorney Mark Powell Esquire to accept, sign, authorize and all documents related to this grant award. And the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approve the submission of the BJAF Fiscal Year 2022 Comprehensive Opioid Stimulant and Substance Abuse Site-Based Program grant application in the amount of $1.3 million. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the authority of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approve the submission of this application and is hereby resolved by the authority of the SAM that the District Attorney of said municipality authority be authorized and directed to sign the acceptance of this award. Adopted the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022. Once again, Mr. Chairman, here is District Attorney Mark Powell. Uh, this grant is our overdose fatality review um, 
team grant, um, which we do have in place, but we are requesting this uh, motion in order to extend it an additional three years. This is a highly successful program where we review overdose deaths, gather data in Lackawanna County, and then implement um, procedures to better address our uh, ongoing drug problem. Um, our OFR team was recognized as one <coughs> in 10 in the country to be a mentor program for other OFR teams. That was just awarded last week. Um, it's, it's working, it needs to continue, and this uh, motion would allow us to extend and sustain that highly successful program. Great. <clears throat> okay, sounds like a great job on that, Mark. Um, anyone have any questions? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. A question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank <clears throat> you. 220213. Ratifying a grant application to the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby ratify and approve the submission of a grant application to the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention for the fiscal year 2022 Opioid Affected Youth Initiative. Whereas the overall goal of Lackawanna County Opioid Affected Youth Initiative grant application is to establish a robust and multidisciplinary drug endangered children alliance in partnership with the National Alliance of Drug, National Alliance for Drug Endangered Children, with the goal of identifying and implementing initiatives to provide effective linkage to prevention, intervention, diversion, and treatment programs and strategies to children, youth, and families impacted by opioid and other substance use disorders throughout Lackawanna County. Whereas Lackawanna County does hereby authorize Lackawanna County District Attorney Mark Powell Esquire to accept, sign, and authorize all documents related to this grant award, and the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the submission for the fiscal year 2022 Opioid Affected Youth Initiative Grant application in the amount of $750,000. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the authority of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the submission of this application, and it is hereby resolved by the authority of the same that the District Attorney of said municipality authority be authorized and directed to assign the acceptance of this award. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022. Mr. Chairman, once again, District Attorney Powell. Uh, thank you. This is a new grant application, and again, highly competitive, but specific to our needs here in Lackawanna County, specifically addressing uh, our youth, where we know we have to focus our attention. We're not correcting things at an early age. We're, we're really losing a battle or fighting a battle that is, is often too difficult to overcome. So I uh, hereby request approval of this motion uh, to allow us to apply for this additional well-needed money to address um, our uh, younger population. Anyone have any questions for Mr. Powell? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 220214. Ratifying the Police Traffic Services Enforcement Grant application, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County here does hereby ratify and approve the submission to PennDOT for the 2022-2023 Police Traffic Services Enforcement Grant application. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby ratify and approve the PennDOT 2223 Police Traffic Services Enforcement Grant application in the amount of $184,478.47. Whereas the overall goal of the Police Traffic Services Enforcement Program is to save lives by reducing the number of crashes involving injury or fatality and to improve public safety on, this, on the roadways within Lackawanna County. And whereas Lackawanna County is hereby authorized, the Lackawanna County District Attorney Mark Paul Esquire to accept, sign, and authorize all documents related to this grant award. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the authority of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County, and it is hereby resolved by the authority of the same that the District Attorney of Lackawanna County be authorized and directed to sign the acceptance of this award. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County, held on August 31st, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here's District Attorney Mark Paul. This is an existing and longstanding uh, uh, effort with the Lackawanna County District Attorney's Office and PennDOT to make our roads safer. Uh, this grant funds and will fund our uh, DUI stops, our roving patrols, and uh, generally promote public safety on our highways. I therefore request approval of this motion. Okay, anyone have any questions? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> and finally, Mr. Powell, 
Resolution 220219. You've been Auth busy. Authorizing Lackawanna County RASA Vojo Grant be it resolved. The Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the District Attorney's Office submission of a grant application to the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency for the 23-24 fiscal year Lackawanna County Victim Witness Rights and Services Act. Victims of Juvenile Offenders Crime Grant in the amount of $349,842. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County, held on August 31st, 2022. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, this is a longstanding grant also. Uh, it employs and helps support five personnel and our victim advocates um, through the DA's office. Uh, we are requesting uh, equal funding to last year with $316,785, um, which supplements a federal VOCO grant where we also receive funding for the same services uh, to offset and defray any Lackawanna County budgetary issues for those five employees. Do we have any questions for Mr. Powell? Nope. Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. No question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat> okay. Resolution 220215. Approving a juvenile probation grant, be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the Juvenile Court Judges Commission grant fiscal year 22 through 23 for the Department of <coughs> Juvenile Probation in the amount of $247,306. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is our Chief juvenile probation officer, Ms. Cindy Cummings. Good morning, Good morning, commissioners. As of July 2013, the Lackawanna County Juvenile Probation Department has participated in the Juvenile Court Judges Commission Service Grant. This grant assists our department with the implementation and development of the Juvenile Justice System Enhancement Strategy. This is a statewide approach to develop a unified level of services for youthful offenders build stronger relationships with families, schools, and community-based service providers. This approach helps reduce recidivism, uses evidence-based practices when treating juveniles while protecting the community. These strategies have been utilized for the past several years, and we will continue to improve the delivery of services at no additional expense to our department or to the county. Okay, wonderful. Anyone have any questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, resolution 220218. Thank you, Cindy. Appointments to the Lackawanna River Basin Sewer Authority. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby appoint the following individual to the Lackawanna, Lackawanna River Basin Sewer Authority. Eugene Prashinsky, Region 7, 596 Rocky Glen Road, Music PA, 18507 to fill an unexpired term of Mr. Mercatelli, term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st of this year, 2022. Be it further resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby reappoint the following individuals to the Lackawanna River Basin Sewer Authority. Joe Brady, Region 1, 303 6th Street, Vandling, Pennsylvania, term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2026. Paul Ruddy, Region 2, 680 Rural Road, Mayfield, Pennsylvania, turn to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2026. And Peter Loranini, Region 5, 1123 Church Street, Jessup, Pennsylvania, term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2026. These, now, go ahead. Adopted at a regular meeting, Board of the Commissioners of Lackawanna County, held on August 31st, 2022, Mr. Chairman. There is an issue with this uh, resolution because of the timing of the appointments and the expiration dates during the past few years I, I spoke with the solicitors early yes they they all shouldn't expire on the same date uh, the the first one mr. Mercatelli is is fine the other ones that we're going to have to adjust the dates according to accordingly to meet the law so that they are staggered not they, they were let to be expired at the same time by previous administrations so it is something that's going to have to be addressed. Um, Mr. Ruggiero, I think, can speak about this. Uh, and we are going to have to uh, amend this resolution. Are you going to amend it today or are you going to table it today? Well, I, th I think we can. 
No, you, you, you don't need to table it for today. You can put them um, back on. Yeah, you can put them back on. So, you know, what occurs is um, they do need to be staggered uh, based on however many members are on the board. I believe these are four-year terms. So, in essence, each year, depending on how many members are on the board, there should be a new re, uh, reappointment or uh, a new appointment. So, we can move forward today. The board can take action on these appointments. And then all we'll do is we'll go back and we'll track these three appointments back to their original appointment date. And we'll be able to calculate when their expiration dates actually occur. And we'll do that for the remaining board members so that everyone then is in sync with how it is supposed to occur. It, it happens sometimes, you know, uh, if past administrations don't reappoint at the time when the terms expire and they're allowed to remain, and sometimes those new reappointments are not done in conjunction with their actual appointment or reappointment date. So it's it's not unusual. It needs to be corrected. We can fix it. And it I, I should have spoken with you about it before, Chief Jeffers. I did speak with the solicitors. <laughs> I, it's not bothering me. Yeah, no. And it, it, honest with and it yeah. does not impact and, anything and I, that we're I, doing I today. I question uh, if, if it was something we did need to table or not, and if we can just move forward. We can. Basically, we're putting them back on. The timing of when they expire is going to change, and we can do that accordingly. That's correct. Okay. Anyone have any other questions? Okay, I'd entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye, thank you. Uh, resolution 220220. This is an appointment to the Lackawanna Redevelopment Authority. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby appoint the following individual to the Lackawanna Redevelopment Authority. Aaron Whitney, 1125 Audubon Drive, South Babington Township, 18411, to fill the unexpired term of Mr. Scripp. Term to begin immediately and expire this year, December 31st, 2022. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on August 31st, 2022. Mr. Chairman. This is another one where there's there, there was a, a retirement of uh, someone from the chamber, and this is the chamber's choice to replace that particular person. So it's a it's a good thing, and we are glad to work with them closely. And uh, on that, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Opportunity for the public to address the board. Joan Hodawan at Scranton. Um, I missed the last prison board meeting on August 17th. Uh, and I know this isn't the prison board, but you are members of the prison board and I need to compliment you on something you did in your last meeting. And that is approving a recommendation that Gary DeVilio made on investing the $600,000 in the canteen funds plus two CDs, which are maturing later this year. Um, and what, what basically happened was, is you found a higher interest rate now that interest rates on investments are rising. And just to sum up what, what the paper reported, combining the money from both CDs and the $600,000 in a single investment in December could yield $28,000 in interest income next year. So I take my hat off to you, ladies and gentlemen. That is the way to run a railroad. You've done good. Everybody wins in this, the taxpayer, the inmates, everybody. Speaking of winners, just to remind you that right now, the Friends of the Scranton Public Library are conducting their quarterly book sale at the marketplace at Steamtown, right in front of Crunch Gym on the second floor. You can get a hardcover book that might sell for as much as 50 or $60 retail for $2. You can get CDs and DVDs and children's books, everything. Uh, again, it's a win-win proposition. The library wins and it takes in uh, funds for operating the system. Incidentally, our, those profits are earmarked for children's programming. Um, the public wins because they get books at a tremendously discounted, uh, deep discount value. And even the tax man wins because he gets 6% sales tax. So it's, it's a good thing. Um, 
Festa Italiana's coming up. I expect to see all my newborn Italian friends coming over, like Jerry Natariani with his red hair. Debbie, I expect to see you there. I think Jerry is part Italian, aren't you? Christopher uh, Chimaki. He yes. <laughs> is part Italian, even, yeah. though doesn't, even though he doesn't look it. I know. Um, and speaking of winning, um, have we found a replacement for Tom Durkin? Working on it. We we have, and we're, we're still. In a, there's a there's an issue with I'll it. It's you, not our are, issue. Those are big shoes to yes, fill. Yes, they are, and that's the reason it's been very difficult. Okay, we have, keep working on it. And the only other question I have is, what's the status of getting more bids for the murals on the back end of this government center? Actually, we actually looked into that yesterday. Let, let I don't know the answer to that at this point. I know we're... We received about five or six. Um, Maureen McGuigan and I and Brian talked about it for about two hours yesterday. There's an issue with the corrugated metal. We ran into a lot of problems. Many artists didn't want to submit. Many artists that are excellent mural... Well, you don't normally do a mural on corrugated metal, let's face it. Well, right. there's a lot of fantastic spray paint artists, some that did artwork at the World Trade Center on corrugated metal surrounding the Freedom Tower, so we even reached out to them. Um, so we're looking into some other options now. Okay. Okay. Well, it's moving along. Thank you. See you at the book sale. <clears throat> See you at the book sale. Uh, Marie Schumacher, resident of the East Mountain of Scranton. Uh, I'm going to read you five things and see if you can answer what a nonprofit would earn if they could say yes to every one of these items, okay? First, advance a charitable purpose. Two, donate or render gratuitously a substantial portion of, the serv of its services. Three, Benefit a substantial and indefinite class of persons who are legitimate subjects of charity. Four, relieve the government of some burden. And five, operate entirely free from private profit motive. Anybody know what that would earn you if you were a nonprofit? I do not. Nobody knows. Okay. Well, the answer is you earn tax-exempt status. Um, now, I don't want to say any a nonprofit pick on any one or any handful, but I would believe that all of the uh, nonprofit, or no, all of the nonprofits that are not, yeah all of the nonprofits that are not paying property taxes in Lackawanna County cannot answer all of these five questions. Now, uh, Pittsburgh, a time ago, did put out a, a letter to everybody who was on the exempt status to prove, say, what they, their position was on each of these five. And now that Scranton has <coughs> reached the point of 38% of its properties are tax property tax exempt puts a burden on those who are not a nonprofit and I am asking that you do one of two things or both and one is to put out the they call it a HUP letter as Pittsburgh did it was a hospitalization utilization something and uh, they cleaned up their records and uh, also, there is someone I read about in the paper recently who is trying, making a second stab at taking the monies that are being charged for the, to uh, um, recover from the Johnston or Johnstown, uh, what was it, a river? I don't know. Oh, I was in California. Uh, oh, okay. That was. Now, that was 1937. I think it's complete. And this 
these legislators, there's been one in the past and there's one currently, who are trying to get some of that money and give it to these municipalities that are getting smothered. And, um, and but I would also like you to do this HUP test and send one a letter to every one of these nonprofits. So we can check into that, Marie. But uh, some of that I think is above our uh, ability to do. Uh, we can check into it, and um, we'll make it a point to uh, follow up on your your questions. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Anyone else, uh, Commissioner? Anything? Um, just an update. I know I've I've had a few questions on the pen the pen fed building purchase. We're waiting on. I guess just funding from the state. We have our accounts set up, we're ready to go, and that seems to be the holdup. But I didn't know what the deadline was on our end. I think we have that uh, the deadline uh, extended, and the funds. Is that correct, Mr. Jeffers or Mr. Rogerio? That, that is correct, uh, uh, Mr. Commissioner. We uh, we do have an extension with PenFed, and that is in conjunction with. Uh, our anticipated uh, receipt of the, uh, the state funds, the grant monies, uh, those should be coming in within the next couple of weeks. We have all the paperwork prepared, as you indicated. The account is set up and ready to go. Once we get that, uh, we can conclude the sale, and we'll be we'll be ready go to go. Forward. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. As soon as the funds are here, we can immediately schedule the closing and, and conclude the matter. Okay. And um, I know to answer Jones question about the CFO I know we are anxiously waiting um, you know it's budget season I've been sitting in on all the budget hearings um, you know, I still have questions from last year that I haven't gotten answered yet so I'm waiting well I'm waiting so as soon as someone gets here and to fill those big shoes um, we'll get moving forward on that um, with the tax exempt Folks, I mean the city of Scranton too. Any of the any of the businesses or the, um, the places in in the city would be up to the city, I think, to look at that. Isn't that correct? I would think. Um, I don't think we have jurisdiction over the city, but I would like to know if they're all legit. Um, Mr. Rogerio. Yeah, and to and to Marie's point, the the not the issue, but. You have to keep in mind that the, the 501C status, which is typically the nonprofit or not-for-profit status that someone is designated under the IRS code, there's about 17 or 18 different subsections of the 501C nonprofit uh, uh, section, is a determination that's not made by municipalities. That's a determination that's made by the Department of State in the IRS at the time that the application's filed. Um, so any challenge related to that, not that it cannot arise from the municipality, but it would typically arise either through the Department of State or more so from an IRS audit or issue where they'd be requested to show those five points that Marie stated. So um, it doesn't mean a municipality cannot look into it, but it would be that if they were going to, it should originate out of the municipality in which the property is located. Because as we all know, there's typically three taxing bodies for any property. So I would recommend that if it was going to be looked at, it would originate out of that particular municipality. Okay. Thank you. And then, uh, yes, La Festa, I will be there. I work in the Porchetta stand, so come look for me there. I'm usually in the back, so you have to look. Well, we, we whenever they want me, so we'll see. I, I, I bounce in and out, so sometimes I get to walk around, sometimes I get stuck back there, but I will be there, so looking forward to it. What's that? <laughs> yes, La Festa. And yes, I am part Italian, too. So. <laughs> and Commissioner Dominic? Nothing. Nothing, okay. Under that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Happy Labor Day, everyone. Happy Labor Day. Thank you. Thank you.